Hi first graders, today we're going to play subtraction bowling. So to play this game, you need some paper cups or plastic cups, whatever you have in your house will work. You need a paper and something to write with, and you need a ball. Nellie, let me see the ball. So this is um, one of Nellie's stress balls. You can use a tennis ball, any kind of toy ball that you have in your house. Okay, are we ready to play? Here's how you're going to set this up. You're going to take your cups and you're going to stack them. You're going to make one row of four. Oh, and all, we're using ten cups all together. Okay, so the first row has four. The second row has three. The next row has two. And one goes on the top. Okay, so um, it's all set up and ready for Nellie to go bowling. All right, so she's going to come right on in here. And here she goes. Oh, I missed. Um, so she's going to try again. And it's okay to miss, right? Ah, oh, okay. So, ooh, she knocked out a couple more fell down at the end there. So I'm going to take the ones that she knocked over and put them to the side. Um, as you can see, there are three left. So we started off with ten. We knocked down a certain amount. And we want to figure out how many we knocked seven. down. Nellie knows that three and seven are a combination. So it's ten, take away seven, leaves her with three pins. If you don't know three and seven are a combination of ten, you can count down all the cups that you knocked over. Okay? She's going to try one more time. All right. So we could say three, take away two is one cup. And she could keep trying to knock down that one cup, or we could just play again. And we're going to do that just so I can show you a couple more problems. Ready? So I'm going to stack it up again. We've got four cups, and three cups, and two cups, and one on the top. Okay. All right, here she goes. She's going to go bowling again. Ooh, okay. So this time... She's left with six cups. Or, <laughs> if she had ten, and then she knocked over a certain amount, she's left with six, how many cups did she knock over? Or, she's saying four, and if you're not sure, you can always count the cups. So ten take away four is six. Okay, now we're going to let her try to knock down these last six cups. problems. Um, I hope you have fun doing some math and doing some bowling. Thanks for bowling with us.